Hey guys, I'm in New Jersey today on a hot summer day. Way up in the woods here, it's just me and the mosquitoes. And I'm checking out this amazing apocalyptic test facility or testing lab. It's been abandoned for probably 50 years. And uh, there's a lot of interesting buildings and weird machinery and equipment left behind. The place is really incredible. So I'm gonna take you through it and I'm gonna narrate it later on. But this place is incredible. You wanna see inside here. This property has been abandoned since 1972. Reaction Motors was a rocket engine development testing facility that built liquid-fueled rocket engines for the U.S. military and for NASA in the 50s and 60s. In 1972, the property was left behind, and in the 1980s, massive contamination was discovered, and New Jersey declared the property a Superfund site. Radioactive waste, various contaminated water tanks, and asbestos-filled buildings still remain today. This place is up on a mountain in the middle of nowhere, so needless to say, it's pretty eerie walking around here alone. We're coming down to what was probably one of the main indoor testing areas. The concrete structures on the right were probably used to support the rockets.
I have no idea what that giant circle on the ceiling could be for. But I'm assuming that the rockets fit through those three holes in the walls because they were too big to fit in the building all at once. I came across this burned out building down the road. It seemed so fresh like it burned the day before. It didn't look like there was any evidence at all of anyone trying to put this fire out. In fact, I would guess that no one even knows that it burned except for the people who said it. I believe that's probably asbestos all over the walls and all over the pipes. I didn't spend too long in this area. From what I've read online, this is some sort of a cooling house. It's made completely of wood, and the sides are like wood slats. And then it has this gigantic fan sitting on top. Pretty wild. This was probably a safe area for testing bigger rockets. Um, you can see the small windows where you would stand behind these. Um, th there was probably an entire structure here at one point. Off into the distance it looks like just a foundation, but if you look closely, there's a giant concrete structure that was used to mount the rockets during testing. This building was one of the main control houses for the rocket testing. It was by far the most eerie of the buildings due to the dark rooms, and unfortunately I didn't have a light, so I couldn't even see inside a lot of these.
But I made it out of there alive. That place was incredible and eerie, so odd. Um, if you guys have places like that that you want me to check out in your own state, then definitely leave a comment down below or uh, get a hold of me on Instagram. I'd love to maybe check them out when I come through your state. Um, if you like this kind of stuff, if you like abandoned places or filming locations or anything odd or interesting, then definitely follow me along on my journey. I travel all over the country checking out amazing and odd places like that. And I'll see you on my next adventure.